So now using this line of code, you can import your broker's data using Python. Hi smart traders, it's Lucas from Gontro. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you how to import your broker's data using Python. Let's get started. To import some data using MetaTrader 5, we need to import some libraries first. MetaTrader 5, Pandas, NumPy, and DateTime. Obviously, we need MetaTrader 5 to connect Python and the MetaTrader 5 platform. But we need to remind that the MetaTrader 5 platform works only on Windows. So if you have a Mac device, for example, you need to download some application like Parallel Desktop or use a VPS, etc. Because the MetaTrader 5 library doesn't work on Mac. So the first thing to do is to import the libraries. Then you need to connect the Python sheet to your MetaTrader 5. To do that, we just need to use the initialize function of MT5. And if the return of this function is true, it means that the bound between Python and MetaTrader 5 is created. So in this video, we'll just see how to extract the candle data, the so open, high, low, close, volume, etc. But if you will really want to go deeper into the live trading in MetaTrader 5 using Python, you can check my tutorial MetaTrader 5 Automated Trading Using Python. So first, we need to set some parameters. We need to set the symbol. We'll choose, for example, the Euro USD. Then we need to choose the number of data that we want. So there is several ways to import data using MetaTrader 5. And we'll see all of them in the tutorial. But in this video, I have chosen to only use one function to allow you to really understand the process. So for this function, we need to choose the number of data that we want before now. So it means that, for example, if we want to import daily data and we choose a number of data equal to 100, it means that we will import the last 100 candle, the last 100 daily candle. Then we need to choose the time frame. For example, here we want to import the data, the daily data. So we'll choose the time frame D1. So in the MetaTrader 5 function that we will use, the copyrights from function, we need to give to this function a date and the number of row that you want before this date. So I have chosen to take the day of today. So to extract the day of today, we'll use the daytime point now. Then we'll extract the rates. To do that, we'll use the MT5 copy rates from function. There are several functions to import data using the MetaTrader 5 libraries, but this one is really one of the most useful. So first, you need to give the symbol, then the time frame, then the date that you want to import the data before, and the number of data that you want to import. So now let me show you the result. The result is a tuple. And as you can see, tuple is not really readable. So to allow us to understand better this data, I have chosen to transform this data into a data frame. As we can see, it's really much more readable, but we still have a problem because the time is a number and not a date. So to transform the number format of the date into a date format, we will use the two date time function, which come from the pandas library. So we will use the time column and we'll change the value 
of this column. So to do it, we will import the two daytime function. And as input, we need to put a column. So the times columns, we need to put a series and we put the unit. Actually, it's very good, but to have an excellent data frame, we need to put the time column as the index of the data frame. So to do it, it will be very simple. We'll just use the set index function. And as input, we just need to put the name of the column that we want to put in the index. And now we have import the data which come from your broker because the MetaTurl 5 platform is connect to your broker. So through Python, you can import the historical data of your broker. Then I will show you how to automatize this process because it will be easier to work with a function instead of this code. So we'll use this code to create the function and the function will be called the get rate function. As input, we want the symbol, the number of data, and for the number of data, we can put a default value like 100, for example. And we need also a time frame. And for the time frame, we can also put a default values, for example, D1. Then we need to make an indentation to allow Python to understand that this is the function and we return DF rate. And then as we can see, we have exactly the same data as before. And it will be very easy to change the parameter of this function. For example, if I want to import only data, I just need to change the time frame. And then I have the only data 100 data before now. If you like this type of video, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. It's very essential to me.